algebra fans, in the middle of every quadratic unit, there comes a time where you shift from a true quadratic, which means the leading term is no higher than two, to things that sure do look like quadratics, but they start with things like x to the four or something else. So here's the first thing to note. If the degree of your leading term is even, and the degree of your second term is half of that, and the degree of your third term is zero, meaning the x term is missing, you can go ahead and apply the x method just like you would with a quadratic. The thing to do first, actually, is to set up your two binomial parentheses and immediately put in x squared as the first term instead of your standard x, because when we multiply them, we want to produce an x to the fourth. So x squared times x squared is going to get us that x to the fourth. So now that we've put that there as place saver, let's go ahead and apply the x method to factor this. So we have a negative 18 on top, that's the a times c. If this isn't familiar to you, go check out this video on the x method, then come on back. And we have our b, negative 7 down here. So now we'll do a quick factor list. <clears throat> and we see that 2 and 9 are what are going to come together to be a negative 7. And then because our 7 wants to be negative, we know our larger of those two will be the negative one. So now we go ahead and fill those into our parentheses. And now here's the thing to remember. If these just said x, we would be fully factored. But because these say x squared, we want to take a look at the one that contains the minus, the difference, and we want to check for a difference of squares, and lo and behold, there it is. If this doesn't mean anything to you, go check out my video on difference of squares. Otherwise, we continue to factor, and that is our fully factored trinomial here. Okay, let's take a look at another one. All right, so again, trinomial, this isn't an x to the second, but 6 is even, half of 6 is 3, this has no x term, we can apply the x method here, and the first thing we want to do is remind ourselves that x to the third will be the first thing in our parentheses. Are you noting a pattern here? It's the degree of your middle term, or half of the degree of your leading term, because that's where the x to the third times x to the third is x to the three plus three, or x to the six. Okay, but now we go ahead and use the x method still. So our ac goes up top, our b goes down here, we make a quick factor list, and we see that 1 and 6 will make our 7. We see that in order for this to be negative 7, these both have to be negative, but that's okay because when we multiply them, we get our positive 6, and we pop those in here. And once again, if these were just x's, we'd be done. Because this is x to the third, we're going to check for a difference of cubes and a sum of cubes. This isn't familiar. Go ahead and check out this video. Otherwise, right here, x cubed is something cubed, 1 is something cubed. There's my difference, so I know I can further factor this into x plus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 times our other factor. Okay, let's look at one that's different than this. I want to show you a different version than the one that uses the x method right off the bat. All right, so take a look here. First of all, our leading degree is not even. And then second of all, our second term is not half of that. So I can't go ahead and just pop this in the x method. But do notice that I have an x in every term. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply greatest common factor and pull that out. And lo and behold, now I actually have a legit quadratic. There's my x squared. And so now I throw that in the x method. Two on top, three down below. One and two are my only factors. They're both positive, so my final factorization looks like that, and the whole thing started by pulling the greatest common factor. So those are three examples of how to deal with trinomials when they are not quadratic equations, quadratic being defined as my highest term is a squared term. All right, practice that. Check out my playlist on factoring. Consider subscribing to my channel so that when I put out a new video, you know, and as always, keep on mathing.